Welcome to Taking the Credit, episode 32. Um, we don't know how we've gotten this far, but we have. And uh, 32, I think, maybe was Shaquille O'Neal's number. Maybe it was 34. I don't know sports, but it's close enough. So I dedicate this episode to Shaq. Thank you for Shaq. getting us this far. Uh, we couldn't have done it without Shaq, and yeah, happy to be here for it. Nice. Good one, babe. Happy to be here for episode 32 with my lovely wife. Your tan wife. My tan, lovely wife, and we're always happy to be here. So Kirsten, What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I feel really sleepy all of a sudden. It was the sun. We were just out there for like an hour. You were. Hour. I'm slow. Yeah. I was um, setting this up. I went out there. It was like 11.35. And we came in probably like 20 minutes ago because I showered real quick. And mm-hmm. 2.08. 12, 1, and I worked out a little bit too, so I probably got about an hour outside, which isn't too bad, but luckily, I feel like when I got really sunburned, that was the day that we did the podcast with your friend, Yeah. and I think I got really sunburned that day. I've only just been building onto it, right? and so my tan is getting like insane tan, and it's like, I don't know, just so tan. Very tan. So You're getting tan. tanner and tanner. Danny Tanner. Pretty soon I'll be Mexican. Nope, that's not how that works. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, that was bad. That was bad. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. I was joking. <laughs> uh, Yeah, we're still locked down. How long has it been? I put day 180, but that's how long it feels like. Yeah, I don't know. All of <laughs> April. April, probably at least the last week of March March. or the last two. I mean, the second half of March, maybe. So about a month. Yeah. Over a month, I think. I just look at like I when I'm looking at accounts to do outreach sort of stuff, I noticed that a lot of them stopped spending like either early to late March, meaning that Mm -hmm. it's been going on since then. Yeah. Like March 18th seems to be a common date. So I'm assuming that that's when it really kicked off, at least in New York, you know. Yeah. Well, it's... Oh, Oh, shit. Amber alert. Sorry. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Sloan lip No. No. All of the phones. Jude doesn't like it. Oh, no. Oh. Denver metro area early this morning. They're long gone by now. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. Hi, Jude. Hi, Pian. Sorry to worry you. That's the kids. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. Amber alerts always throw me off because they always say like last seen yesterday or last seen this morning and it's like two o'clock and I get that there's like a time span I think that someone can technically be missing but Mm -hmm. they're not going to really do anything about it until they've exhausted like just options and then they're like, hey, just so you know, they're in Mexico by now but watch out for them, you know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the 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 hold up is that they have to wait x amount of time for it to be a, for yeah. you to be able to file a missing persons report, which right. is really inconvenient when you know that there's funny business going on. But yeah, I remember my mom telling me a story when they were young and they were playing hide playing hide and seek, and she hid under the bed or something or hid in a closet and fell asleep and like her my grandma like called the police and they were like freaking out but then she like woke up and was like here i am (laughs) that's nice yeah (laughs) i fell asleep in the bathtub one time and i woke up to like josh trying to essentially knock the door down Oh apparently they had been like yelling for me for a while and i just slept through it dangerous (laughs) dangerous but but um Anyway. I guess <laughs> spending lots of time in the sun. Spending lots of time together. 
that's it's so nice like it kind of feels like vacation so vacation and vacation that was planned after vacation and potential later vacation has all been canceled like everything shut down definitely not going to disney but so i bought these nice really really nice lounge chairs from home depot and so it makes it feel more like vacation in the backyard they're so nice i didn't think that a chair could be that life changing you're just like wow i'm so relaxed now i'm sitting by a baby pool it's pretty incredible very comfortable i don't really work outside at all like ever even last summer like i never really Mm -hmm. sat outside to work but i also within the last year got a new laptop that i can actually charge and take around my other laptop would just die right away remember so i couldn't really bring it out but well you also did the the uh, smooth move of taking the extension cord yeah. out there so nice but um yeah so i think that has contributed to spending lots of time outside it's like even when it's cloudy and it still feels so nice to just sit out there and uh-huh. get some stuff done and get some tan while you're doing it it's way better i think the day goes by faster it's just more comfortable i mean i definitely sit better out there at that table than i For would sure. on the couch okay. yeah. so my body doesn't hurt as badly but yeah it's good it's very good i like the adjustment working from home anyway not you the, should work uh, from home forever yeah not the negative effects of what's going on but yeah there's a lot of um a lot of places to extending that work from home mm-hmm. stuff in the stay at home stay in home stay in shelter Stay in place. Staying alive. Stay, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, there a lot of them have been extended. I think Chicago is one of them. I know for sure Denver. I have a couple of like hair lady and like esthetician friends on mm-hmm. Facebook, and they all, um, one of them in particular had posted that like we're open, like but we're very cautious right now. Like we'll take one person at a time. Make sure you're on time because we're gonna do things very strategically. And then she posted some update from some. I think it was like DACA or something. I don't know what it meant or maybe something Dora. like that. Door. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but it the was Department like. Department of Regulatory Agencies. Yeah, and it was just like, well, they've extended this, so mm-hmm. time to reschedule. And I think I saw that too, like the think tank, like they had something like we're going to reach uh, out yeah. and reschedule since they're pushing it back. But Yeah, they they regulate like social work and, and like yeah. The massage and all those sorts of things. So. Which sucks. That's a bummer for those people. It, I don't yeah. Like it. Yeah. It makes sense, though. Yeah. You're so close. You have to be so close to people. Right. And I mean, it's almost time <laughs> to get another haircut. But Yeah, I wrote that on my list, too. Nice. Uh, home yeah. haircut round two yeah. soon. Probably soon. Yeah, I'm it's super okay. excited. Yeah. I notice that as it grows out, the most of it is fine. It's like the sides where it seems to just be shorter and then it's like longer. Mm. So as it's growing out, it's more apparent that like I there's just like a line where it just like. Longer. Yeah, I know that like <laughs> the side over here and some of the top stayed a lot longer, but I also don't care. You know, it still looks fine. Right. We You've gone out in public. Yeah, and it's I been mean, fine. Whatever. You're not like, ah, people are judging me. Yeah, nobody's They're too focused on whether or not you're wearing a mask. Exactly. That's the number one concern. And I feel like not necessarily now or really in the next couple of weeks, but sometime coming up soon, I'm going to have to go to Home Depot. But What's at Home Depot? Uh, pebble-sized rocks pebble sized rocks yes. what for so i need them to fill uh sandbags so there's an empty thing on the bottom of that light over there yeah. you see that uh that's a s- empty sandbag but if i can get like bags of pebbles to weigh it down that would be great because uh some of the stands that i'm getting in might be flimsy a little flimsier the ones that i'm going to have to hold the sound blankets so yeah anyway interesting also, I noticed that when I buy things on Amazon, uh, like the pending charge doesn't show up until like they ship it. And so yeah. I'm like, what the heck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Noticing these more charges from some of the stuff I'm assuming that we bought. And I'm like, I forgot about that. Mm. Not that it's a bad thing. It's just like, oh, 
$73. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. But, I mean, at least it's stuff you enjoy. And I'm looking forward to getting the remaining stuff. But that's nice because I just don't have anything else that I need to get. Also, thank you for inspiring me to get that uh, Periscope device. Yeah, I think I'm that's super be really excited cool. for that. And that was like a, in a sense, like a gift from your dad. Yeah. Kind of. And I think it's going to be super helpful because like... It's not so bad to look up at the screen, but if somebody's not necessarily comfortable with it, it would be really hard to get them to just stare into the camera. Right. So. Yeah, I find that when we're filming this, like right now, I keep looking out that any window that's like open. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it's this window, yep. sometimes it's this window. Same. It's just so that's what I look at, and and I have a hard time looking right at the camera. Mm-hmm. And then I look at you a lot too. Yeah. Like we're talking because we're talking. If I were standing behind the camera and you could see my face and we were talking, it might be better. And then with the blankets and the stands, Mm -hmm. hopefully I'm going to put one like behind me. So that might block some more of the distractions for people looking around, you know. Yes. So you can't see it. But anyway, yeah, very cool. That's supposed to come in on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. That's good. And uh, I... My upper body is sore. Can't imagine that Mike listens to this. You know, Liz's husband, Mike. Probably not. Probably not. Probably but Bob. Uh, I'm intending on when I get the uh, logo shirts, I want to ask him, like, I'll pay him to come up here and, like, help me create a commercial. Uh, and yes. then, like... Even like, cause I got multiple shirts, he could wear one. So it looks like a legitimate multiple How about person. I help you make a commercial. Well, could yeah. I wear a jacket or a shirt? Yeah. Very you good. You could wear it. Yeah. Because I got two mediums, a large, and then the medium sized jacket. So you could wear the jacket. We could wear the shirts, nice. put it together. And then, then like, it looks like you have employees. Right. Yep. Like it's a team thing. Cause I don't want people to think it's just a one person show. <laughs> Because the more people that show up, even if, like, I am doing something, if, like, I'm hired, if I could just bring you along to even help set up, like, lights and stuff, it'll look more official. And the more official it looks, the more value people think they're getting, or at least the more value they are getting. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, I, I like that idea, and I would be happy to help with these things and talking to people. Um. The selling, obviously, we've said this a billion times. I'm not good at that. The, the The selling, I could advertise, do the social media, but I would come with after you like mm-hmm. done your thing and like yeah. help. Well, and what I'm trying to have set up is just a way that people could book online, so we wouldn't necessarily have, have to be to go out yeah. and sell it. But at the same time, I'm like very excited to have the opportunity to pitch this to assisted living facilities because I feel comfortable with what I can offer right. and just walking in and and what I can offer them you know cuz as you had the idea as well like just the benefit that they will receive <laughs> so yeah. sorry no I'm listening to you I get it and I was I'm going to eat the mic for fun, but um, I was just thinking about how even with the podcast, you were able to just learn all of the the tech stuff, the tools Mm -hmm. and put it together. Like I wouldn't want to take the time to learn how to do all of that. And like, you're already comfortable enough to go film people and, you know, do whatever you need to do to make it happen. Even if you're uncomfortable at first or like awkward with just talking to people like you can do everything and you can do it well Mm -hmm. like you'll set it up you'll you know you you can do it and you know how that's Mm -hmm. and you just taught yourself how to do it which is crazy like i look at all the stuff we have sitting around like like the camera first of all and even setting that thing up on the camera like i couldn't do that and even angling the lights like putting them in places that would help and i don't know like thinking of this even yeah. Or doing with this little dilly dally thing, and I don't know, it's crazy. Thanks, babe. Yeah, I'm. I'm just glad that what we've been doing and like just learning this part is uh, a necessary portion of what I want to do. You know, 
So like I will be taking this along and using this. So right. luckily I already know how to use this. We're already doing this. this. So what changes really is just showing up and setting it up at somebody else's house. Yep. And using a different microphone. So this isn't here. But yeah. Yeah. The microphone nice. that I could probably fit in my mouth. Just kidding. Yeah, that maybe. would be like a fist. <laughs> That's nice. My mouth doesn't stretch. And plus my lips are real dry. It's like when I stretch them too far, and they Careful. start like cracking. Like, mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. But yeah. So I'm excited for that. I think like I'm just waiting to get the uh, the shirts because I think that'll look good. I want to talk about, I want to start off the video will be like me talking about my mom and I could cut in some of the video that I used or yeah. the VHS Video. Are you talking about your commercial? Yeah. Okay. So I could start talking about my mom, use some of that, talk about the influence, and then like how much value it yeah, would be to have this of my mom and why that motivated me to mm-hmm. start it. So I think just showing like what it's about and how it's done. So like we'll record setting everything up and so people can actually see like it yeah. takes how effort. How quick and easy. Well... Yeah, no. Not easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry. No. I was going to say, like, we people want to, people don't, yeah. So uh, I'm stealing this because I didn't really know this, but I was listening to that business podcast and they were talking about locksmiths and locksmiths, how they're trained to struggle a little bit because what? they could just show up and pop your lock open and be like 300 bucks, but they got to be like, oh, this one's tough. I don't know if really? I can get it and then pop it open so people feel like there's more value to what what's going on, you know. I guess that's like mechanics. Yeah. Like, oh, this is such a tough job. You have to pay me for my work and blah, blah, blah. And But in reality, it's like anyone could do it. They just take the time to learn it. And yeah. That's true. There's a lot of that. I so. guess that's just how life operates, though. But, yeah, I could see how, like, you, you can charge or have more value to something if if it takes more effort to do yeah if it presents like you see the value yeah yeah Yeah. so i'm not just setting up a camcorder and pressing record and then we're like good to go but it would be cool if you could do ongoing stuff with yeah people too and like Mm -hmm. make it i was just thinking like an elderly podcast how cool would that be that's what i put in my contract is that by doing by signing up and booking an appointment, you're giving me the right to release it as an episode of a podcast. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess that makes sense because they're going to have to share it with people. And so did you create a YouTube channel story to mm-hmm. record? Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Yep. I didn't notice that. And YouTube is linked with Google. It's a Google platform. Google bought it. So if you have the Gmail handle, then you yeah. can get the name like really easy on youtube but yeah i have the social media handles for all of them but yep that's part of the idea because i thought that would be really cool even before we started taking the credit when i was just thinking about how fun it would be to have a podcast that's when i was interning at the assisted living place and thinking like i talked to these folks for over an hour each time yeah it would be cool to actually record that but i can't work in the role of a social worker and also be recording, be recording somebody. So yeah. Anyway. Very so that's exciting. in the contract, but I think I'm, I'm considering removing that and the booking stuff from the website altogether. It's a tough decision. That's something that I've been tossing around in my head just because there's a set price on the website and i can't put like starting at this price yeah because you have to determine a set price in order for people to pay online so if i said starting at this price they can't pay but they can book the appointment and pay it's just like i don't really have the opportunity to talk about the process if they just book it and then i'm talking to them about what's going on so i'm tossing that around yeah yeah that's fair. I guess, like, I feel like, too, your pricing could be negotiable. You know what I mean? Like, maybe be like, I'll do it this for this much if you're willing to, you know. 
blah, blah, blah. I think that... Um, On your end, not their end. You know what I mean? Sure. Well, I and that's part of... I guess that's a part of why it would be good for me to take the, the prices off the website or the ability to book off of the website. You should do what like all of the wedding photographers do and call it an investment. That's how they say it, like the pricing. They don't call it... Like, this is how much we charge for this. Or they say, like, if you look at any, like, like wedding photographer established with their websites, they always call it an investment, which I guess it to me kind of, I don't know, sometimes it pissed me off because it's like, well, you're charging like a billion dollars. And think of our wedding photographer. She did a really good job. And for some reason, I can't, I don't think investment was on her website so to me it's almost kind of like a pretentious thing like investment i could be wrong but it is a good way to phrase something like it's going to cost a lot Mm -hmm. of money but it's something that you're going to have forever sort of thing yeah that's a good idea actually investment i'll write that down here um i'll write it down so on your butt just kidding sorry um (laughs) hang on here yeah uh i heard like a really good pitch for um wedding photographers because and it was a good one you know uh the only thing that you'll really have to remember is that uh the photos like we're not gonna remember how dinner tasted or i'll remember it okay yeah so good for what little i had it stands the test of time photos yes uh-huh. I'm really hungry too. I'm so excited. I kept thinking about the chicken, and then my first thought is Chick Fil A, and then I think about fried chicken. Maybe we should save the chicken and Brussels sprouts for tomorrow, and I could go swing by get some more boozy waters, and then grab some post. Wow, that sounds so good. What would you get from there? I would get fried chicken. That's what I was just saying. Just that like the standard issue, like fried the chicken. one where we get the fried chicken and the mashed Half potatoes. Bird. Oh, it sounds so good. I'm just so hungry. <laughs> yeah, everything sounds good. Cheeseburgers in paradise. No, not cheeseburgers. Fried chicken would be better. Sorry. Uh, They're talking about... I like it. I just wanted to write down that it's an investment so hey. I can remember that. No, that's fine. Yes. So, uh, you're right, though. I feel like it would be kind of beneficial to have some way of negotiating or... Right. Like e- either up or down, because th- if somebody books online and they don't read the description and they book it and they live in Maryland, oh yes, then like they ha- will have already paid me, and then I'm gonna have to call them and be like, hey, just so you know, I have to refund you, or like we could do. We're this gonna online. have to figure out the traveling costs and stuff, you know. So I don't know. Sorry, babe. No, it's fine. I wrote business on our little list here, so I intended to talk about it. To kill time. Yeah. Well, I can do (laughs) that all day now. I mean, it's like like anything that I get into, and you know me, and like... You just do it. I wonder how long this would last, though. Is it a phase? Like, are you going to get into this and keep doing it, or are you going to be like... See, "Mm -hmm." and I've even wondered that about myself because I know myself... But there are things that I do that stick. Like I, ha- this I haven't podcast. S- this podcast. I haven't skipped out. working out a day mm. in so long. Recently, though, right? Wasn't that like a Sunday a couple like weeks ago, maybe? But did I do absolutely nothing? I think so. I could be wrong. I could be making that up. But yes, you're one who works out all the time. Yeah, I, I mean, like there. If I have a goal it really helps and the nice thing about this is that there's always a goal and the goal is to make our life better but even smaller goals like i know what i need to do i need to make a promo video that explains what i do i need to launch ads i need to go out and meet with facilities you know so i have steps that i can take it's not that i'm just like sitting here wondering what's next so I think that's you plan well you and you cover all of your bases like this business that you're starting you're so deep into it you really can't give up we've spent so much money on it 
Yeah, well, and why give up? You know, it's a unique service that I haven't been able to find anyone else who does it. And I'm qualified. Yes. So why not? Exactly. I mean, I'm, yeah, providing a service to older adults. Those would be over there. Yeah. I bet. I so. like, I, I would actually probably really enjoy watching these things too, though. That's the thing. Uh-huh. So I like hearing those stories or anything like funny, whatever. I think that you've always been that way, though. Like older people, and it doesn't even have to be like elderly, but like older people, you've always been good at talking to them. And mm-hmm. oh, I yeah. feel like. I I definitely need to work on that as well, but hopefully this will be something if I can help with you mm-hmm. get better at doing. Like even in my job, sometimes I talk to elderly. Or they sound older and mm-hmm. like they just don't get the technology and they're clicking. And I find myself talking slower and louder mm-hmm. and I'm like, wow, I'm a dick. No, that's <laughs> <But> that's, <laughs> help, that's actually very helpful. You know, that's... Oh. There's but is that like ageism? That. Is that like you're treating them differently because they're older? Like, Yeah, but it's a it's a respect thing. I think it's just an understanding or meeting somebody where they are thing rather oh. than like a looking down oh. sort of thing. Cause that's the way I think of it is that I'm just trying to help yeah. and has be at anybody, their level. Has anybody ever been mad at you for... No. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. That's how I answer the phone for work. Slow. I, That's what we're going to do with this company too. Yeah. Everything's going to be like that. So I told a lady she sounded smart. And then when she was learning how to use the thing, she was like, I'm smart, right? And it almost sounded like she was saying it sarcastically. And I was like, sorry. This was the lady that kept cutting me off the other day. Like super friendly, but like she would talk over me. And then I was like, well, she seems to know what she's doing. And she seems smart, so... I don't know. Sorry, that was kind of off topic, but yeah. Well, yeah. It's it's something that a lot of people go through because even in this uh, graduate school for social work, there are a lot of students who have no interest in working with older people and they're concerned about uh, older people being judgmental based on their age or lack of experience or... Uh, inability to think outside of the box or change their ways Mm -hmm. and the reality is that those are all like completely unfounded beliefs and i yeah i don't know i don't know why it is because my mom uh her my mom's mother passed away before i was born and my mom's father lived in new york for a long time when i was a kid and then moved back to puerto rico so I haven't been around him much. And then my dad's mother passed away before I was born. And my dad's father, we would, kind of, we would, he lived nearby, but most of the time we would just see him on major holidays. And then like sometimes in the summer, cause he owned that mm-hmm. lake house. But, um, yeah, we, I haven't like been surrounded by older adults my whole life or like, majorly influenced by that generation in my upbringing but for whatever reason it's there's always been a click like i respect you they're kind to me Mm -hmm. we can get along you know so i don't know what it is but But you're a very patient nice person and i think it's because you're always trying to be positive whereas me very negative imagine me talking to someone and i'm like yeah but it's hard to get mad at, I don't know. It's hard to get mad when somebody's not angry. I don't know. Like, they're happy to have somebody to talk to, just like right. we're happy to have somebody to talk to. So when you can that's true talk with them about something that they like, it works just like it does for anyone. Yeah. So. Like me outside, I'm bored. Mm-hmm. Come hang out with me. I need someone to talk to. Even if we're not talking, just knowing that there's someone there listening when you do talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, this could be a benefit for people who just, like, don't get many visitors or uh, don't have the opportunity to talk to many people or experienced loss, you know. it's. I feel like it's just going to 
yeah. give folks an outlet that they don't have otherwise. So No, I like the idea of it. I'm super excited for all of it. I think it's going to be awesome. Thanks, B. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to helping, too. Like, I... I I genuinely like what it is and everything, and I know sometimes I get bored at the business talk, and it's all like the uh, the details, you know, uh-huh. like the. And I'm just like, oh my god, I want to go to sleep. But, um, like the the product itself, I really like, and I'm looking forward to once you get doing it and like watching, watching it and learning. Like, uh-huh. I think that's something people will actually be really interested in, and hopefully that alone will be good, like word of mouth, you know, and in, yeah. in Colorado. And think of all like the old rich people in Boulder. Like they'd probably love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and I mean, I f- I don't feel like the price is too expensive, especially considering like it takes time to get there, set it up, to get the referrals, to pay for hours of labor plus editing to return it. You know, it so takes time. And I know I watch you do these things. It, it's not like it happens right away. It's not quick right. and the editing and all of that. And that's something too, like I mentioned before, like having to learn how to do it. Like you taught yourself how to do all of that, which is yeah. crazy. I not have the time or patience for that. Well, and I just learned how to use that other program when yeah. we did the podcast with Doug and with all the color correction and everything so like a lot of what i've learned just happened in the last couple of weeks Mm -hmm. but i just want to make sure that things are professional and like worth spending money on and yeah i guess at that price if you wanted to have uh i don't know a book made of your story or um I don't I guess I don't know. It, there are just other ways that if you wanted to do this it would cost you way more or yeah. there would be no option. And so I feel right. like it's yeah. It's this at a fair is price. So. Probably a business idea and I know you've looked to see other companies out there. You mentioned like an app and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is going to be something that more people will be doing. Like I saw a really I don't know if it was like a meme or something someone saying that podcast microphones are like sold out on amazon Mm. like people are Mm -hmm. so bored right now that they're like trying to get into this stuff and i wonder how many people will stick with it or come up with ideas like this and like Mm -hmm. even like your idea like if it's only gonna keep going that direction as Mm -hmm. people evolve and technology and you know maybe down the road someday we'll have these like clear glasses where if you can see a person and it's like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> that would be and your videos will still be around well uh, i mean i think because people are quarantined the numbers like viewership has gone up across like youtube twitch all these platforms yeah. all across the board so there may be people jumping into this thinking that they're going to make money off of sponsorships really right. quickly or something and then phase out. But it's hard when when you do this and this is where it starts. And then once this episode is over, it takes another couple of hours to put it together and then it takes more hours for it to render. And then I have to upload it and come up with the details for the podcast and post it on multiple platforms. At least I write these down for you. (laughs) There's no, there's no money from this. No. So you have to enjoy it. And if you're not motivated by the love of it, if you're not passionate about just doing this, then it's really hard to get into, especially if you think that your podcast is going to be a big hit or you think your friends are going to really love it and your family is going to listen to it and share it. It's just, it's not the fact. I mean, the fact is you put it out there and the people who stumble across it and they want to keep listening are the ones who just listen to it. And it, that takes time. And if you're not motivated, anything that takes time is hard to get into. Mm-hmm. And as far as building a business, I think that's just three steps beyond because you can't you can't take what you have and start a successful business. You have to understand how to do it. And then mm-hmm. you also have to pay so much money for different. And I mean, I guess it's not that much money if you know what you're doing, but and you find the right resources, but if you really want to be successful, you have to uh, invest 
and mm-hmm. a lot of people don't want to invest. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about food again. Sorry, my mind was wandering a That's little okay. bit there. But when you were talking, I was letting you finish your long sentence there. Uh, shout out to Jesse and Bailey, oh, as yeah. always, for watching, even like after we said watch and then most people don't and they still do Mm -hmm. and also i'm excited to watch these like these videos that we make when i'm like 50 you know what i mean like looking at this and being able to see kind of like and this goes back to like your whole business idea like i picture watching that home video with your mom and like how crazy that was just to see it like even like our age or maybe a little bit our age right like pretty pretty young my mom yeah in that video she was she was like 35. Oh, wait. When did she have you? When she was 40? 37. 37. She had Josh at 32. Uh, no, oh, 30, okay. For some reason, I was picturing younger and that she had you at 30, but that might have been my mom. But yeah. Um, no, I mean, it was cool to watch that. So imagine looking yeah. back at ourselves when we were getting all old and wrinkly. And we're like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and like, wow, look at all that energy I didn't have even when I was 29. <laughs> Such a slug. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to move any faster or <laughs> any slower. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. But no, I'm I'm excited for your business. It'll be fun. Thanks. Also yeah. I'm excited for fried chicken because we're definitely doing that. Would you come with me if I run out there and do that stuff or would you stay here? I'll come with you. That was like a really, I don't want to do it. That's fine. You don't have to. I can do it. <laughs> I'm will. just saying, no, it's fine. It's fine. The video games. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, I look forward to doing this because the reality is if I can get a few people in a month, then like my whole life changes. And yeah. I don't think that that's out of the question if I can get one facility to get on board mm-hmm. so, so we'll see but yep i'm excited for it too me too and then i can quit my job once you start making lots of money yeah it'll be interesting because you know i'm in this group and i've talked about i've alluded to it multiple times and i don't really know how many people listen through this or care you know so i don't i try not to go too too deep but well I guess I already have, but you know, I'm in that Facebook group, the (laughs) same, like I've been following this, uh, page that's all media business related. And I'm in the Facebook group for the same thing. And, uh, I don't remember where I was going with that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to be fair. Oh yeah. So, I, I your group that you are alluding yeah. to that's what I, yeah i already said that the business that i that i started i've posted about it in there and i've shared kind of what steps i've taken and um i i was brainstorming with folks in there about like how things should look how the logo should look the color palette you know so i've i've gotten a lot of help and that's been really awesome uh but with all of that there's been one person from Australia who said that they were like thinking about doing the same thing. So yeah, I I feel like this is a pretty unique service, but it would be interesting if it spread. Like if I could open this uh, or start offering this in Kalamazoo or something, you know? Yeah. Which is not too far out of reality if I found somebody there who's right inclined to help and do this and all. Yeah, I mean, like you, you could, if I had other people doing it, if I got to the point where I couldn't be at every job, I could still, like, somebody could still make a good amount of money if they stepped in to do it. Yeah, you know, I just give them the polo and then they right. show up and. Would you eat spicy chicken or normal chicken? Yeah, both, either. Spicy was making it real hot last time. Mm. But I feel like that was just because it was on a sandwich. I like them both. I don't know. 
I really liked it when we on the wedding day. I remember I ate a spicy chicken. It was really good. Why don't we go with spicy chicken then? But what if we regret it later? There's no regretting spicy chicken. Mm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But Sorry. No, I, I was listening to what you were saying. And even if you traveled like me trips back to Michigan every now and then, I mean, if you're making enough money, it wouldn't really be too expensive to do and just treat it like a vacation. You go as a family while you're working. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think like one of the things that I didn't think about and I've done consultation appointments with the same person I've been talking about over and over. Um, mm-hmm. But when I was, the first time that I spoke with this guy, he had suggested using this as like a platform to like a tie, make ties with facilities, assisted living facilities. And I was like, Oh, great idea. And then we got off the phone and I started thinking about how it would work. Like, do I need a lens that's got a wider focal length if I'm going into people's uh, individual rooms and senior living facilities? And then, Mm -hmm. The next time I talked to him, I asked him about that and he said, uh, why don't you ask the facility to use their nicest room so it shows off the facility as well. And then you set up your stuff in one room and have people line up all day. And then you just tell the facility you'll be there the third Thursday of every month. And uh, it makes it super convenient. So yeah, even if I were to do that with a place in Michigan and it was like, the third Monday of every month and we flew back and visited family and lined up appointments, you know? Yeah. So if we had a lake house in Michigan, right? Yep. It'd be doable. And that same rate would go way further in Michigan. That's for sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. This is on a side note, but they've got margaritas to go there. Wow. That is a side note, Sorry. but that's good. Margaritas later. Yeah, that's amazing. LOL. Notes, I told you. Yeah, it's because it's funny. I'm like, ha ha. Yeah. Ha ha. Um, what else did I put in there? Uh, we stay up bug late. Bug salad. Oh yeah, bug salad. <laughs> so gross. Well, that's gross. That I so I always pre pre make your salads like when you would go into work and like we've done it a couple of times here working from home and everything. But now I just find like we just eat when we want. If we want a salad, we'll make it. But I just so happen to make some salads and we always get the big buckets of salad, um, the like little tubs, the plastic tubs, and they're like six bucks at the store. And I had pre made salads for this week. And first off, bacon bits and salad after a couple of days, was that normal for them to be kind of chewy? Like they lose their color, they just kind of sit. And I don't, yeah, I've never really been a fan of bacon yeah, bits. Yeah, well, so. I didn't like that either, so that's going to be something you'd have to add fresh. But there was a bug or not. on my spinach. Yeah, it was gross. It looked like it. So you picture a bug, maybe like an ant, or I've I've had actually a ladybug on it in a salad before, which is cute. That's not gross. And it then it looked like a fossilized. I ladybug. know like it was gross, like, yeah. like it was scaly looking little yeah. bug. It was so nasty. Like one that you clearly the spinach doesn't belong in Colorado. It came from somewhere far away with nasty bugs. Like I yeah I was like black with a couple little red spots or orange i don't know yeah it's so orange, gross yeah and and i couldn't even tell that it was actually a right at first really you're at like first, wait is this a weird colored bacon bit but then it yeah. just looked so gross yeah pretty gross yep so gross yeah i looked at every bite before it went in yeah i know after that i had a really hard time enjoying that salad i was finding problems with the whole thing whether it was the bacon or the cheese kind of being congealed and Mm -hmm. i was just like how do you do this i will never do that to you again i will wake up and make you salads fresh every day that's quite all right i don't (laughs) think the bug just slipped in there it was just no it's been on that spinach it was in a container it had been shipped from who knows where so Although it did, I think that was like an organic one, not yeah. just like the store spinach. I think we just need to get Panera salads from here on out. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That and the post. 
can we is that okay can i get that like yeah. is that i'll go out and do it too i don't give a shit okay. sorry but i'll go pick it up and you can play games and then we're gonna have such a chill afternoon it's gonna be awesome i'm I'll glad we're doing this on. right now oh yeah for sure thank you for suggesting that i don't i didn't even you were like let's podcast and i was like no i said okay. i said whenever we get somewhat close to done laying out here let me know first so i can start setting up Right, but I got a good hour out there, and I plan on popping on, not my swimsuit, I maybe like a tank top and sitting out there again for a little while. But we'll, we can like eat our chicken out there and have like a nice little another boozy water or something, save some margaritas for later if we want to do that. But here's the question. So we have tequila here. We still have booze from the wedding, which is crazy. That still was like August. And I mean, but we stopped drinking for a little while and cut yeah. back quite a bit. So That was neat. Yeah, we, we've really been into the boozy water, so I think we did buy alcohol, that and wine still, but like the hard liquor we've really cut back on for sure. Majorly. Yeah, but, now um, it hurts. Huh? Now, now it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to old. But um, uh, we have tequila, okay. but there's not as much as I thought. So my plan was to get a bottle of tequila, and I've got different um, like lemonades, and then you know we could throw some frozen berries in there, some ice cubes, and blend it up. Or I could just order margaritas from the post and support local business. Well, the money will go way further if we make it here. Right. But also, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't need a ton of margaritas That's because that'll make me feel like crap tomorrow. Right. So. I just picture it'd be nice, like, sitting outside. I picture that later this afternoon. So, like... It's almost three o'clock. I'm going to stop drinking until probably close to, and not that I've had a lot. I've had like half of a boozy water, which is not a lot, but till like five or six, you know what I mean? And then the sun starts kind of moving this way and like seven o'clock rolls around. I'll have a little fresh margarita and go sit outside and enjoy the sun and be like, wow, this is nice and a little frozen drink, but like not too late. That sounds good. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever you decide, B, if, if you go out and come back with nothing but chicken, that's also fine with me. For sure. I know. You've got your other vices. Well, yeah. And also hangovers. Video games. Hangovers are tough. I wasn't even hungover today. Yeah. But that's what I was saying, too. And this was, like, on my list. Like, we stay up kind of late lately. Like, yeah. but that's, it's so interesting now that you've been working from home more. And I have been for the last couple of years. It's, like, you're starting to realize, like, how I just function. Like, I can stay up later because I can, I know you just wake up early anyways. But, you know, I can. I have been s sleeping in, like. I'd say in general now, instead of going to bed around nine, we go to bed a little around after 10, 10 yeah. but I also am waking up closer to six rather yeah. than five. So, so it's shifted a little yeah, bit, which is fine. fine. See, <laughs> and that's why like when we, when you would go into the office, you're like, we're going to bed. It's like eight forty five, nine 9 o'clock. And I'm like, well, I just wake up at like eight o'clock anyways. And so, you know. Mm -hmm. Do I really need to go to bed yet? I'm going to get so much sleep tonight, and yet I'm still tired all the time. Like the drive that we took this morning to go down to drop off food to your mom at work yeah. is like the same drive that I have to do on a workday morning, except even with a lot more traffic. Yeah. yeah, so it's like it just takes so long. That's so much pointless, wasted time Yeah, sitting in traffic, but... Yeah, you got to have more time in the morning for it. So now it's just so nice, like moving my routine. So where I'm done with everything and then I get like 30 minutes to just hang out and then make breakfast and get the coffee going and then sit down for work. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. I yep. like working from home. Fully adjusted. Going to be tough to go back. That's what I'm saying, too, for companies in general. Like, now that they've yeah. proven people can function from home. And people like it. I think people who are work working from better. home. I mean, some people definitely like Need socializing office, and yeah. being at work with coworkers who are friends. But I, I just work in a small office that most of the time I'm there by myself. So then it's hard to be like, Let's yeah. drive 45 minutes to sit by myself. 
and no one will come in all day and then drive 45 minutes home afterward. Yeah. So, yeah. I wonder if it's probably because they ended up getting that office as to not conflict with businesses and if they're going to pay for it, someone might as well be in there, you know? Yeah, I, I don't mean, know. that's the, I yeah. think that's the thought, but that's just tough for Yeah. When your job can be done from home, it's just very hard to justify like, oh my gosh, like the motivation to go and be there. At least in my opinion, like I, yeah. It would make sense if it were like a storefront or somewhere that people came to, but just nobody goes there. Right. And people are kind of discouraged from coming there. So it's, yeah. I don't know. Are they? You guys tell them not to come in there? Don't come in there. Well, most of the time, the only thing people want is to talk about payment. And if I'm there alone, I'm not the person. That's going to be, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Don't bother coming in because I can't help you. Mm -hmm. I can't help you. I love you. Love you. Our hearty dog is sleeping on the couch. Mm-hmm. Hearty pen. I feel awful for her. Yeah, a little pain dog. How old is she? She's four years old? Is that yeah. right? Her right back leg has is hurting. Been, yeah. I wonder, has that been that way or was it recently that we noticed that she's... Because she won't jump. She won't jump on her bed anymore. And it's pretty off the ground. And even with the couch, though, like she'll kind of hesitate. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty convinced that... While we were gone somewhere, sometime, she tried to jump up on the bed or something and fell and slipped and maybe hurt herself. And now she's like way more hesitant to want to jump up. Yeah. We had to put like a little stool there for her. Well, she's been hesitant to jump up. Yeah. For a while. And I think. But now it's like You just said like she was scared or whatever. And then, yeah, the other day. Scarlet Pain. landed on her, yeah, and then it's then it's been like, okay, she's really hurting. It's oh, yeah, not just she that she's scared; it's that yeah. she's in pain. So when she jumped and went, Gree. Mm-hmm. so I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but oh, like she still yeah. walks around fine, and yeah. she trots and like pulls when we're walking, and I can't see anything. Like she's not limping or anything, but it could be I something saw cold. when she jumped up onto the couch earlier i noticed that like she majorly used her front paws and she like pushed off with her back left leg but Mm -hmm. she kept her back right leg like completely still when she was climbing up so like she wasn't using that to land on or anything so we gotta let her take it real easy because i don't want it to turn into something real bad she probably just a little sore maybe a pulled muscle or something but i just don't know like if it were really really bad i feel like she would be crying right no but i yeah it's hard to hard to say because she's hard-headed so maybe she's yeah not okay but isn't letting us know yeah it's really hard we love our dog and yeah. she will be fine. We will fix her she if she needs mice. fixing. She we does like mice. mice. And squirrels. That's so funny. Yeah, there's a squirrel in the tree I've been giving bread to, which I don't know if it's best for squirrels to give them bread. Not that, not a lot of bread. A little bit of bread, like half a loaf of bread, whatever. But anyways, I named him Darth Vader, and it's actually a her, lady yeah. because she doesn't have large squirrel balls. Her and name is Darth. Yeah, and lots of, and the mice, you said you saw a mouse in the garage, and then there was a mouse scurrying outside, Mm -hmm. and then again, the flashback, like, we used to live against some open land, or I used to live against, like, open space, and there were, like, tall weeds at the edge of, you know, the apartment complex yard, and then where the tall weeds started, and I would walk her along the edge, and she would, like, pounce into the grass, and I was like, why was she doing that? It's so weird. And then one time she pounced and then she actually caught like a mouse. She just pounced on it and I think it was fine. I don't, well, did she kill it? I don't remember, but it was just a little tiny mouse. I think mouse. you said that it died, but like Maybe you shock. thought it like, It wasn't yeah, bloody shock, or yeah, anything. Right. It wasn't smashed. Right. But it's just funny that like she, she was smelling it too, the one mm-hmm. out back. Like she could sniff it behind the target and yep. that's she, funny. She found it. I was like, what you sniffing? And I moved it and then a little mouse ran. Little mouse, they're so cute. I love mice. They're so small. Ratatouille. Small. Yeah. Small. 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 S M O L. 
That's what small. I was thinking. Small. Yeah. Wow. We went through it. This was a lot. We talked a lot about your business. Yeah, it's this the has worst. Been good. No, it's. <laughs> I will. I've, I'm feeling a little bit better now. When we first sat down, I was very sleepy, but that's, I think, from the sun and just because I woke up at like 9.30 instead of like 11. So mm-hmm. That's the weekend. I stayed up until midnight. I was sweepy. What is this? Work, work from, from home. home. Ah, yeah, okay. sorry. That's uh, for, for work. We've been saying WFH for work from home a lot, like abbreviating it. But a lot of people know that. So same with SIP. I've seen that a lot. Stay in place. Oh. People are making up these weird work abbreviations. It is interesting. I mean, I just figured out what it was by looking at it long enough. This would be a good one. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. So we tried it. Yep. Instant coffee. I think that depending on if we got some better instant coffee, it would have been better. I think it was the smell of that stuff. I think you're right. I think that had a big factor into it. Yeah. Yeah. But we we also don't have a mixer. So what morning did I make it? It was like Wednesday. I would say probably yeah. we yeah, did maybe. Yeah. the like the basic ingredients. I think yeah, are the it was once two tablespoons of ground instant coffee or just instant coffee, not ground two tablespoons of sugar, which you could probably cut back on. And then two tablespoons of hot water. It's just such an easy ingredient list. And then you just whip it up. And it, it took me about an hour to whip it up, I think until it was nice and whipped. But then you plop a little bit of that in a glass of milk. And I added some Chobani vanilla creamer, mm-hmm. which is really good. And I think mine turned out really well. I think when I made you and Kyle's, yours and Kyle's drinks, that I put too much of the whipped stuff on top. And then like mixing it and I found made it really good. Like this morning, mm-hmm. I took just a little bit and put right. milk in there and it was so good. But yeah, this good. smell is a little weird. It does smell a little weird. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, you're right because the sugar wouldn't smell, the milk wouldn't smell. No. That's the only thing that would smell, but it smelled so bad. <laughs> that yeah, you uh, spit it out. Yeah, like, I was like, and I don't know, the taste just mimicked the smell in my mind. So yeah, that's fair. Wasn't, yeah, wasn't interested, but... I think letting it sit for a little while too in the fridge, like today when I put everything together, it was so good. Mm-hmm. But I did very minimal. Like that's what the thing is throwing me off with the pictures of it. People are putting globs of it into like a glass. Right. So I just assume that's what I was supposed to do. But yeah, no, just a little bit goes a long way. It's very good. But again, it probably would have been better. acceptable and better. Yeah. yeah. If I hadn't talked us into getting the worst. <laughs> instant coffee they didn't have a lot of options though at the no. store and so that one i was like whatever it looks fine i don't know it's good instant coffee yeah and it yeah. wasn't but that's okay we we i tried it and i spit it out and then today was good though tasted like yeah. a shake like a vanilla shake but it was better melted yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's the verdict on that Maybe we'll try it again sometime with better instant coffee. Yeah, for sure. Um, I really, I'm going to definitely do it again. Maybe even today and mix up some more because I really liked it mm-hmm. for what it was. But yeah, I do agree. The smell was a little weird, but I'll yeah. do it again. I'll do it again. It was weird, babe. <laughs> that just reminded me. I'm going to try and find that meme, the I'll do it again meme. I'll do it again. I remember I told you I was going to show you one day and then. Um, here we go. No, I just like, Googled it, but that's, it just says, I'll do it again. And, it, mm. and you can add whatever, like something part of it and then people will do it again. I don't know why they added the F word to a lot of these. I like it when it's just, I'll do it again. They have to make it so violent. Jesus. Wow. Whoever put that together was very <laughs> not right in the head. Interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah. My new favorite. Is there any favorite meme? No, you don't care. You don't care at yeah. all. I saw um, a meme of that uh, Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, uh, the posted. China. No, it was Joe Biden. It's really funny. It was like, um, actually, I should just show you. Well, no, whatever. That'll take too long. 
It's just a picture of Joe Biden's head, like, cut out, looking confused with the psychedelic background, and it said something like, Joe Biden's brain is like uh, an old computer browser with too many uh, too many pages open, running slow, and he doesn't know where the music's coming from. <laughs> That's That sounds pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> there is someone the on Facebook. The is just roasting. <laughs> <laughs> There is someone that posted like a, it wasn't a meme, but it was like a picture saying, don't forget to like close tabs in your head or something like that. And I didn't realize that was like a thing, like what people are saying these days. Like if you have too much going on, Mm. make sure you clear, clear your mind. But we are computers. Yeah. That sounds funny. I'd like to see it. And it does make sense. I mean, so much going on that's like you you always have stuff going on you're always thinking and i just try to be brain dead it's so hard when i'm not though like that's what i've learned for me if i just have nothing going on it's hard like i want to go to sleep or i'm so bored or luckily video games even though that could be summarized as doing nothing is like it's my still great escape yeah. yeah because it is stimulating i'm having a great Talking time to your friends but i'm also uh from the outer world's perspective just completely able focused. to relax yeah that like that's chilling for me because even like if we if we're watching too much like 90 day fiance and yeah. i get to a certain point i get like antsy Right. Like I need to do need something to mix else. But what I need to do is jump into the master class because Garrett gave me that free membership. So I need to check some of those out. Oh, wow. Nice. Is that like, is that access to all of the master yeah. classes? Wow. Mm-hmm. Isn't it's just like so celebrities nice. and stuff though, teaching you how to do celebrity things. Not all of them, but like, I guess you could say like a celebrity movie producer or whatever, but one of them that I'm looking forward to that I'll probably start with, uh, th- I was checking out the different bios, and one of them is a uh, former, I think a former FBI agent, but he teaches the art of negotiation. Oh, wow. There you go. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So I think that would be really cool. Uh, some of them that are like how to tell a story, how to tell a short story. Yeah. Like, I think that would help me with like business stuff so nice i like that yeah that would be fun 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 to start maybe next week i'll do that until i get my until i get my logo to polos i don't have much else that i need to do yep what are you looking at on your phone? Well, you asked to see the meme that I was talking oh, about. Oh, thank God so. you're finding it. That's good. Thank you. Make yeah. Sure. What are you doing? Uh, just planning on ordering some food here. Order the food. Order the food. You will order the food because it's good. Order I'm so the excited. Food. Yeah. So excited. We are disrespectful. Take that, audience. Uh, mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. You know I like those. You know it. And pickles. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Wow. I haven't eaten all day. How exhausting. What? There's so much, so much stuff, stuff that he posts. This, yeah, like, and all news. Ugh. Could you imagine if your whole life was Was just like politics? Yeah. And like multiple posts every day about political whatever. Media. My grandma posted something today saying like if we cut out the media, like the the national media, like how things would probably go back to normal much quicker. And I was like, yeah, agreed. Yeah, for sure. That's my mom was evil. I mean, I know you're very, I think your view on the whole coronavirus thing is different than mine in ways that whatever, but I just feel like the media played a lot, a big part into all of this. And there's pressure from cities across like, you know, 
big cities like they're saying oh we're we're closing this like my mom said they shut down like the nba like they weren't gonna do anything and then all of a sudden people are like whoa they're not gonna play basketball so we all have to stay home and you know just like the way that they handled this all has yeah, I think like the best argument that I could have for that or just saying like the predictions were wrong is really just that we don't know because we the numbers know. could be lower than expected because people are abiding by this rule of staying at home. Yeah, who knows? And yeah, or it couldn't be, you know. So I don't know, but um yeah. I feel like it's probably best that we're playing it safe. Yeah, no, I don't mind staying at home. I'm used to it anyways. It's not like anyone's telling me not to go out Yeah. or that I'm wanting to go out. Are you looking for this meme still? Can yeah. we ramp this up here? Yeah, well, you know, I'm <laughs> just following. Find the meme and then you have to post it on the video so everyone can see since you've spent so much time looking no, for it. No, you just got to entertain them. I'm not going to do that because it'll take time and I'm not going to remember. <laughs> nobody's paying me i'm paying you i like that i keep putting my arms up because the shirt is it's not like big but it's like wide it's so wide and it's fun it's look kind of like i'm a bat a wuhan bat what <laughs> no babe did you find it yeah oh thank god Yeah, that's good. I thought it was going to be a little more I mean, stuff. what more could it be? I, I told don't know. you what it said, but <laughs> I know, I just pictured it looking more like a cow like a computer like you were saying, like there was like no, different it's on the psychedelic background. Oh. Joe Biden's mind is like a web browser. 19 tabs are open, 17 are frozen, and he has no idea where the music is coming from. That's great. Yeah. Here. It's not going to be in focus. Well, you're not going to see it. <laughs> you're not going to see it. You don't <laughs> see it. Privilege revoked. All right, let's get off of this, you know. Yeah, time Next for episode next week is 33, and that's two threes next to each other, which is pretty cool mathematically two and threes visually. Next to each other. So tune in next week. Thanks for checking this one out. Uh-oh. 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 Yes, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't, or whatever. Share it or don't, or whatever. We're still going to be here. Um, thanks again, and we will see you next week. Do you have anything you want to say? Mm, nope. Spicy fried chicken forever. Yes. Yes.